The Anora order, also known as frogs, is most well identified by its distinct larval and adult stages and an extreme metamorphosis in between. Let's begin from the larval stage. A general frog larvae, better known as tadpoles, has a basic body which can be separated into the tail and the rest of the body. No arms, no legs, nothing. Once a tadpole starts growing its legs, it's reached metamorphosis, but it can be months and in some cases years before it gets to that stage. Till then, it eats and eats as much as it can, usually algae and whatever else it can find. Eventually, the tadpole will grow out its hind legs, forelegs, taking its tail and in most cases grow lungs. It's now in its adult stage, or frog, but even if they're terrestrial now, they, like all amphibians, require their skin to be moist so that they can breathe through it. Though they've grown lungs, the frogs will still take in half of their oxygen through their skin. Its diet will be composed of insects, but really it will eat anything smaller than itself. Here's a lovely off-the-wall fact. When a frog, in some species, eats something poisonous or something bad for them, they throw up their whole stomach into their mouth and uses one of their webbed hands to wipe away the foreign substance. Fun fact, sometimes frogs blink when they're eating. What's really happening is that they push their eyes into sockets in the roof of their mouth, which helps push their meal down their throat. Now that they're adults, they're probably interested in making some babies. When two frogs are ready to mate, they go into an amplexus formation, usually in a water source. Generally, the smaller male climbs onto the larger female's back for two reasons. One, so that he can grasp around her and push her eggs out, similar to a Heimlich maneuver. Two, they store their eggs or sperm in their cloaca, so this positioning puts their cloacas closer to each other. The female then releases her eggs and the male at the same time releases his sperm so that the closer proximity increases the chance of eggs being fertilized. The eggs group together into a kind of gelatinous blob so that they can stick to something like a plant or a stick. In many species, the male will even carry the eggs somewhere like on its back or its legs. Then the cycle starts all over again.